where did they get to? Ah! Speak of the devil. I was just wondering when you might show up. <laughs> Don't worry, there's enough to go around. On the house, order whatever you like. There's something I need your help with. <laughs> I had to make it up to you somehow. Looks like we're not the only ones who wanted afternoon tea today, though. We'll have to stand up for the time being. <laughs> Don't drink too much, or you won't be able to sleep tonight. Anyway, about the something I needed your help with. Well, you're clearly better traveled than I am, and I know how generous you are. <laughs> I feel embarrassed to ask now. Uh, how can I put this? If I remember correctly, you, March, and Don Hong came here on that train. The Astral Express, right? I was wondering, is the train accepting new passengers? Well, it, it's just... The dust has settled now. The Stellaron problem has been resolved, and... Kakolia... Forget it. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. You see, there's not much left for me here except to carry on repairing equipment in the workshop. I like practicing the guitar, and performances are fun, but the crowds are pretty small. Besides, I'm a researcher. How could I not get excited about the chance to explore new worlds up close? Everyone gets tired of living in small places like Balabog after a few years, right? Really? You're gonna say yes, just like that? <laughs> I understand. I'm counting on you. I know this is a lot to ask out of the blue, so... Apologies in advance. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. <sighs> There goes Serval. I better send Himiko a text and ask about the request. Or I guess I could ask Mr. Yang. Or Pom Pom? Hmm. Who's the best one to ask? Let's send a message to Himiko. You should go and talk to Lady Bronya, Serval. It was her personal invite, after all. I know, I know. Let me think about it. Perfect timing. Please, talk some sense into her. I knew it. Uh, hey! You're taking his side already? Serval, I understand your reluctance to rejoin the Silvermane Guards. But Lady Bronya values your talent, and she sees how much you could contribute to the rejuvenation of Bellabog. So I came to talk to you about it. In any case, you should at least pay her a visit. <sighs> okay, I get it. I'll make a trip to Klipoth Fort and tell Bronya what I really think. Sorry, I need to get this over with. Let me know what they said when I get back. <sighs> Same old Serval. Sorry, my head's still in the argument. It's like this. As you know, 
My sister used to be one of the research team leads in the Silvermane Guard's technology division. Stellarons were her main area of research, but her expertise went far beyond Stellarons. She was, and still is, well-versed in mechanical engineering and other fields. Immediately after her succession, Lady Branya set her sights on Serval's talents. The Supreme Guardian wants her to resume her technological research and be a shining light for the revitalization of Bellabog. <sighs> However, you saw her attitude just now. I doubt her meeting with Lady Branya will change anything. It'll probably just leave them both feeling dejected. <sighs> I think there's more than one element to it. My intuition tells me this is mostly linked to Madame Cacolia's passing. <sighs> never mind. It's just a personal hunch. I've never been good at reading my sister's mind. I can tell the two of you have a close bond. If you get the chance, see if you can persuade her to open up about it. The hand on heart. I wouldn't want to see her sitting behind a desk in Klopoth Fort and sighing all day either. Velabog is too small a place for a mind as inquisitive as Serval's. Maybe it would be better for her to join you on your journey. I'll admit, I'm a little worried about how she plans on getting all this across to Lady Bronya. Are you busy? Let's go and wait for her in front of Klopoth Fort. You know what I need. Doesn't seem like they've finished talking yet. I hope it's not turning into a shouting match. Let's go in. I understand your circumstances, Serval. I respect your choice. It was my mistake to make an unwarranted request without considering your own wishes. Allow me to offer you my apologies. I hope you don't take this matter to heart. No, no need, Branya. You're a supreme guardian now. Don't let a little thing like this... Besides, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've put my own personal reasons ahead of Bellabog's reconstruction. I get it, Serval. After all, you and Mother... Uh... Sorry, I don't mean to open up old wounds, but there's something I need to ask you. This guitar, I found it after going through Mother's old things. She was never a music lover, so I thought this might be connected to you. Kakolia, you... Huh? I... It's nothing, uh... You're right, it does belong to me. In fact, it once belonged to me and Kakolia. It was our shared treasure. If you don't mind, Branya, could I take it back to the workshop? Of course. I'm sure there's a story behind it. But that's between you and Mother. I won't pry. I hope you have an amazing journey, Serval. Do remember to visit home when you get the chance. Uh, I will. Thank you, Branya. I assume you heard our conversation just now. I didn't expect her to be so open-minded. And she didn't even try to persuade me to stay. She didn't summon me just to return the guitar, did she? I wouldn't rule it out. She's good at reading people's minds. She would have known that you'd never set foot in Klopoth Fort voluntarily. After all these years, I never thought I'd set eyes on this guitar again. <sighs> Guess we're stuck with each other. Well, it'll take a while to tell. When we were in cadet school, Kokolia and I were notoriously disruptive. We were always coming up with the next crazy invention. We called it exploring the infinite possibilities of new technologies. 
This guitar was one of those inventions. Cocolia came up with a name. The Super Electromagnetic Flux Player, or Electric Guitar for short. Not really, no. She was a military history major, very different from what I was doing. Still, we hung out every day. It's only natural that my love for inventing would rub off on her. <sighs> I told you it'd take a while to tell the story. Let's get back to the workshop first. By the way, uh, want to help me pack my bags? <sighs> huh? That melody... That's one of yours, right? <laughs> I didn't think many people liked that one. Seems the city might have a few nice memories of me after I'm gone. Well, it's getting late. Well, let's head back. There's no place like home. I never feel completely free out there. Chapard, can you lend your dear sister a hand? Help me pack my bags. Am I allowed to refuse? This place, just looking around gives me a headache. Okay, okay, I promise this is the last time. I'm about to go traveling with her. Who knows how long it'll be before I can visit home again. You should help me pack while you still have the chance. Fine. I'll give you a hand. You just need to make yourself at home. You've done plenty of work already. Oh, that's a letter I was gonna send to my mom. I haven't even finished writing it. There's nothing personal in it. Have a read if you like. You're still writing to mom and dad? Only to mom. You know, I still don't get along with Dad. You know, Sir Val, if you're really leaving Bellabog for a while, you should pay them a visit first. Mm, I'll think about it. Well, let's see. Ah, yes. A Silvermane Guard standard issue portable heater. It, it's broken, though. It's a family heirloom. It belonged to Rhonda once. You should take care of it. I wanted to keep it with me. But that's the problem with old things. The less you use them, the easier they break. Besides, no one's paying me to fix it, right? Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I teach you a few machine overhaul skills? Want to practice on this old antique? Here we go again. You don't have to do everything she tells you. The principle behind this machine and the one you fixed when you first came to the workshop is the same. You'll understand when you see it. So, I'll leave this one to you. In return, how about I tell you the backstory behind it? I knew you were a reliable apprentice. Think about it. You helped me fix my machine the first time you came here, and now you're helping me the last time, too. That's called having a beginning and an end, right? Well done for putting up with her for this long. <laughs> wow, great job. Like I said, a reliable apprentice. As promised, let me tell you the story behind this little heater. Its original owner was an ancestor of the Landau family. Rhonda Landau. She was one of our great heroes who participated in the defense of Bellabog 700 years ago. The records tell that during the decisive battle, she led two Silvermane Guard brigades. She engaged the enemy for four full days and nights in the fight for the city. I still have the newspaper clippings from that time. I'll show you when I get the chance. Of course. After all, she was a Landau. Hmm. Take responsibility for your choices and the people of Bellabog. Every Landau is driven by that ethos. So, 
since you're so curious, I'll give you the whole story. This guitar was actually given to me as a birthday present by Kokolia a long time ago. I came up with the design, but I was never able to build it. Some of the raw materials were either too expensive or too hard to get a hold of. She helped me turn the concept into reality. Quick as lightning, always keeping her word. That was her way of doing things. Back then, I thought we'd be friends for life. If it was a gift, why was it in Madame Kokolia's office? I don't think anyone realized, but back then we were so close, we didn't even differentiate between each other's possessions. We shared pretty much everything. We lived in the same dormitory, went to the same school together every day, ate together, filed away the time together, and occasionally talked about music together, though it wasn't something she was overly familiar with. That's how things were until the day we fell out. A lot of our shared possessions never left her office again. I was always looking forward to the day she'd return this guitar. I thought that would be the day we could bury the hatchet. <laughs> now that I think about it, perhaps I was too naive. She'd probably forgotten it even existed. And that's the only Cacolia you guys ever got to know, huh? Always ahead of everyone else, never looking back. Even for a second, she put it all out of her mind. Me and every memory to do with me. You know, but that's what makes it harder. Let bygones be bygones, sister. How did the conversation get so heavy again? <sighs> no good. <laughs> Let's talk about something interesting. You know something, Japard? That guitar case in your hand and my guitar? They're both from the same prototype. The super electromagnetic flux player. I never knew your guitar had a connection to me, too. Quite the story. Oh, that? It's a botanical specimen. <laughs> Little Lynxy sent it during one of her research trips. As for the name, I can't quite recall. The snowman's palm. And Little Lynxy is the youngest sister of the Landau family, by the way. Ah, yes, yes. Ah. Snowman's palm. <laughs> My memory's the worst. It's the only plant here that looks like it's still alive. Hey, watch it. Anyway... This specimen means a lot to me, so I'm bringing it with me. Thanks for the reminder. That should be everything. <sighs> Finally. I think I must have left cadet school with about the same amount. No easy job. <sighs> Serval, I want to ask you again. Do you really want to leave Bellabog and go with the Trailblazers? Of course. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I, I can't miss it. What's wrong, Japard? Oh, I see. Can't let go of your dear old sister, huh? I... forget it. I don't want to complicate things for you. But before you leave, I have one last request to make. The garrison is heading down to the Underworld soon to survey the situation around Boulder Town. Why don't you come with me? Huh? You just said you didn't want to complicate things for me, and now you're sending me on a mission. Aha! Uh -huh. You just want to spend as much time as possible with me before I go, right? <clears throat> uh, no, it's not that. I've heard there are a lot of old energy hubs in the underworld. And you're probably the only person in Bellabog who knows how to inspect them. Since you're leaving one way or the other, why don't you do the people of the city one last favor before you go? Even at a time like this, you're still thinking about the people. I don't know what to say. All right, I'll help you out. The first and last time the Landau siblings will work together. <laughs> Thanks, sis. If you have the time, could you accompany the garrison? You're Bellabog's hero. I'm sure you must be popular in the underworld. 
The Silvermane guards will face less resistance if you come with us. Thanks. I'll contact you when the guards have finished their preparations. <sighs> I'm tired of packing. Let's leave it here for today. Thanks for your help. Oh, I drank all the tea. Why am I getting sleepy?